Hey guys, today we're going to go over a vocabulary for Dark They Were and Golden Eye by Ray Bradbury. So remember when you have your vocabulary chart out to put a plus sign in the box if you know the word, a minus sign if you do not, you're going to read the sentence and use your context clues to try and create a definition for the word. Once you've done that, you're going to move on and you're going to write down the part of speech, adjective, adverb, noun, so forth, and then the actual definition. Finally, I'm going to give you a sentence starter and you will complete the sentence starter. So you're going to write down the part of the sentence that I put on the board and then finish it. First word is submerged. Do you know the meaning of the word submerged? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. Submerged. He felt submerged in a chemical that could dissolve his intellect and burn away his past. What do you think the word submerged means? Submerged is an adjective and it means completely covered with liquid. So submerged is an adjective and it means completely covered with liquid. Let's look at our sentence starter. During the Great Flood of 2016, the town was submerged. So here are some pictures or examples of the Flood of 2016. Think about how you could finish this sentence. During the Great Flood of 2016, the town was submerged. So during the Great Flood of 2016, the town was submerged. All right, let's move on to our next sentence, our next word. Forlorn. Do you know the meaning of the word forlorn? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. Forlorn. Let's look at our definition. Oh, I'm sorry. And the wind roaring, forlorn and changing through the old peach trees. What do you think the word forlorn means? And the wind roaring, forlorn and changing through the old peach trees. What do you think forlorn means? All right, moving on. Forlorn is an adjective and it means abandoned or deserted. So abandoned or deserted. So forlorn is an adjective and it means abandoned or deserted. Let's look at our sentence star starter. The forlorn house in the middle of the woods looked. How would an abandoned or deserted house look? The forlorn house in the middle of the woods looked. So think how would this look? The forlorn house in the middle of the woods looked. Canals. Do you know the meaning of the word canals? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. Canals. The children want to swim in the canals and hike. What do you think canals means? The children want to swim in the canals and hike. Canals is a noun, and it's an artificial waterway for transportation or irrigation. So canals, noun, artificial waterways for transportation or irrigation. Moving on to our sentence starter. In Louisiana, we have many canals that we use for. In Louisiana, we have many canals that we use for. So how can we use canals in Louisiana? In Louisiana, we have many canals that we use for. All right, moving on. Immense, do you know the meaning of the word immense? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you don't, immense. There was only an immense star starring burn upon the land. Immense, there was only immense starring burn upon the land. Immense is an adjective and it means very large. You can see the picture of the immense legs and shoes. So immense is an adjective and it means very large. When I go to the LSU football games, I see immense crowds. What would you see immense crowds do at a football game? When I go to the LSU football games, I see immense cr uh, crowds. 
How would they act? What would they be doing? So when I go to the LSU football games, I see immense crowds. All right, atmosphere. Do you know the meaning of the word atmosphere? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. Atmosphere. He saw the sky submerged above him, the, and the sun made Martian by atmosphere and time and space. So he saw the sky submerged above him, the sun made Martian by atmosphere and time and space. Atmosphere is a noun, and it's the gas surrounding the earth, the air. So atmosphere is a noun, and it's the gas surrounding the earth, or the air. Let's look at our sentence starter. We need to keep our atmosphere clean, so. We need to keep our, keep our atmosphere clean, so. Why would you need to keep your atmosphere clean? Mosaic. Do you know the meaning of the word mosaic? Plus sign if you do, minus sign if you do not. Mosaic. They strolled on the old mosaic paths beside still pumping fountains. What do you think mosaic means? They strolled on the old mosaic paths beside still pumping fountains. Mosaic is an adjective and it means made of many small pieces of colored glass or stone. Here's an example of a mosaic of a dolphin made out of small pieces of stone. So mosaic is an adjective and it means made of many small pieces of colored glass or stone. Let's look at our sentence starter. Sorry, that should be I. I brought home a beautiful mosaic picture from... Oop, my, this my sister. I'm sorry. My sister brought home a beautiful mosaic picture from her trip for us, too. My sister brought home a beautiful mosaic picture from her trip for us, too. Why would you use this mosaic picture? What would it be for? My sister brought home a beautiful mosaic picture from her trip for us, too. All right, guys, that's the end of your vocabulary. I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions.